All right, so just talk about some health topics here. Um, what's important? Just wanted to complain a little. Start out complaining a little bit about uh, my appendix. It's tight again, off and on, and it it seems like it's it's. Is that chocolate? I just had this 18 rabbit stuff, candy pretty much, just candy. What caused the appendix tightening problem again? What brought it back? Coconut? Is coconut, is this, is this a problem? Coconut water doesn't seem to be a problem. Something in this muesli. This is what what I ate for breakfast, and and then later in the day I got the tightness in my appendix. Almonds. Not dates. Almonds, maybe. I'm not sure what's what's causing it, but I don't like it. <clears throat> so I'm going back. I got this. I got this spearmint a, a while back. I'm uh, I'm gonna have to bomb my. I'm gonna have to make a bomb out of it. Problem is, I can't just sit in my car all day waiting for the tea. And this thing's dirty anyway. I keep getting it so dirty. I like the glass container. But I'm kind of parked far away from the library, and I don't want to have to walk back here just for a tea. Maybe, maybe I'll toss the spearmint, a lot of it, into this smaller container. I'll bring two two water containers with me, and then also my my metal straw. That way I can get to the, the spearmint a little bit faster, a little bit easier. This is this is a great tool to have. I, I like to use it on the on the the glass jar. <clears throat> Earlier today, I listened to a lady talk about how she was getting medication for her son and it was um Z not Xanax Yeah, I can't think straight at all. It's it's for it's for anxiety, it's it's for obsessive compulsive, it's for a psychological disorder. It starts with the A arth arthronitis, anthracitabitis, antonitis, anabolic steroids, and and of it's it's uh <clears throat> she called it medication and it's it's not Xanax, it's anoflavonates. It's, I'm sure it starts with an A. It's, it's just analog, analog, digital. It's something with, it's something that I didn't consider a medicine. And I've tried it once. I've tried it. My sister had it. I know what it is. My sister had it. And, and, uh... And she was taking it on a regular basis. Okay. I didn't like how it made me feel. It made me feel like the back of my head was failing. It's not a, a medication, though. Anoplogena, but uh, it's not. It's a designer drug. It's to get around. It's to skirt the issue of of drugs, of, of to skirt the issue and, and create a cloud between the... Between a real medication and and a fake medication, it's fake medication. If anything, if you're gonna call it medication, it's you gotta put fake in front of it. It's 
It's worse than drugs, okay? Sugar extracts are drugs to me. Sugar concentrates are drugs to me. Evaporating the sugar down, evaporating the, the sugar water down till it's a crystal form. It's pretty important to... And then you could rehydrate it. But that's not that's not exactly easy to do. Sugar concentrate. I mean, is that is that for real? Like you just dehydrating the de like orange juice concentrate, you're just dehydrating the orange juice a little bit, letting it sit out in the sun and dehydrate. Keeping all the values, all the properties, there's no extraction whatsoever with the concentrate. Concentrates are pretty nasty. There's regular foods that are pretty nasty, okay, that'll get you fat, just have a high sugar content. But then you go to concentrates, which probably was, uh, if you look at the sugar processing evolution, it started out eating regular food, whole foods, and then maybe the farming manipulated certain foods, letting <clears throat> growing more of the su the sweet foods over the non-sweet foods, and then it goes to concentrates, and then it goes to, to to the chemists getting involved with the sugar sugar extraction with chemical extraction. It's gone too far. It's like we're so we're so off off the center of everything. I mean, our bodies are changing to to accommodate to that in a way, but you know, what it's it's really concerning. It kind of goes against nature. Our human humans when humans um get wiped off the planet, we're going like like the dinosaurs and it ain't it ain't going to be pretty. Humans will get wiped out just like the dinosaurs, just on nutritional, just on how our nutrition has changed it by itself. All right, so I, I had a breakfast. I need to to get moving here. Just uh, just want to make the spearmint tea before I head out, and I hope that clears up this this um, appendix problem.